And with those images, it is an emotional, warm welcome back to Inside Dakar. Not long ago, Team Audi Sport, together with Stefan Peter Hansel and Eduard Bollinger, clinched the victory at the second round of the FIA World Rally Raid Championship. History is made for Audi today, as this becomes the first success for an electrified drive in a cross-country rally. The team led from start to finish, proving that the Audi RSQ e-tron and its concept that you've been seeing behind me here with the electric drivetrain, the high voltage battery and the highly efficient energy converter could conquer and take on one of the toughest motorsport disciplines there are out there. We are going to get the fresh emotion from the desert, of course, very soon. But first of all, here is a look at the route for today. On the final day of the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge, the crews head north towards the capital of the Emirates, Abu Dhabi. The finish is at the Yas Marina F1 circuit, but first they have to tackle a 209km special stage and a road section of 162km. The day's total is 371km. Well, that was a look at the route for today, which the Team Audi Sport crew tackled beautifully getting the win, of course, at the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge with almost 30 minutes. Now it's time to head out to that final podium to see how they're all feeling about this historic win. Stefan, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. We are back from the desert, back in Yas Marina at the Formula One circuit with the two winners, with Stefan Peter Hansen and Eduard Boulanger. It's a great pleasure for me to present a winning team tonight. So how was your day, Stefan? Uh, the, way, the, the day was a uh, little bit uh, with the stress, you know, because when you are a leader, at the end you have uh, only, you can only lose. So you need to be really safe, uh, you, are, you, are the winner, you are the leader, so the, you are in the first place. The one small mistake and you lose a lot of time and you can lose the victory. So it was a lot of stress, but at the end we managed well. Uh, it was not too long and we finished with a good gap, so uh, it's a really a big pleasure to be here and to, to be a part of this first victory, you know, because the Audi team worked so hard the last two years and now we, we get together with the team, the, the first victory in the cross country in Rally Red with the electric car, so it's really an amazing moment and I'm really, really happy to share with all the team, with, for sure with Edouard, with the team chef Sven Kwan, with all of you. So uh, close your eyes for a moment and think back eight months ago, <laughs> first outing. Uh, exact, exact. It's not easy to imagine, but uh, eight months ago we started to run for the first kilometers, and I remember in the workshop we stay one week and we did only 20 kilometers with a lot of small issues, some technical problem. On the eight month later, we, we won the, the first race, so it's really incredible that the work, the job that the guys uh, did. And uh, yes, I'm really happy and it's really an honor to be a part of this project. When you get out of the car, you told me you were driving the last kilometers like a taxi driver. What, yeah. what does it mean? Has it to pay for the drive? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was not necessary to push, you know. With, uh, we started this morning with 33 minutes of gap, so it was really comfortable, but we never know. So I was, we heard all, all the noise of the car, you know, I said, oh, maybe this is a new noise, you will, maybe we will have a problem. And at the end, since the beginning to the end, it was five days, like a dream, no problem at all, just a one puncher. Just some time limit with the uh, temperature of the battery, but we never stop for that. We continue to push every day, so it was really a dream. How was it for you 
Was it uh, easy to, for you to sit beside him on the last race? It's never easy to be next to Stefan. He's making the job, so I'm just looking out the window. <laughs> no, but uh, honestly, it's uh, as Stefan said, it went uh, an easy week for us with no issue. We we learned a lot uh, due to the temperature. We we helped the team to go, to grow faster and uh, to make uh, the car stronger day by day. And uh, as we were confident on the second week of Dakar, we are still confident day after day. It's a really uh, winning car that we are building, so really proud of it. Are you talking during the stage? Of course we are talking. Uh, about soccer, for example, PSG against no, Real Madrid? <laughs> no, not really about soccer. It's not our passion, but motorbike, for sure, yes. Uh, especially on transfers. Uh, on transfers, we are ever looking to the classification of bikes. And uh, of course, I mean, it's uh, we had uh, the chance To, to manage a week where the, our main competitors get some issues, so it was a bit uh, less stressful than ever for us. How does it feel to become the first electric winner? Uh, really proud of it. I mean, uh, as Stefan said, uh, only eight months after the start, on the second race of Audi, already uh, getting the victory home. Uh, it's really, uh, really a proud feeling and uh, really happy to share this uh, with all the team, all the effort with, uh, which has been made, and uh, of course with Stefan. Okay, thanks, Edo. Molly, I'm back with Sven in a moment, and I think the guys have to bring the car into the uh, order for the celebration of the prize giving ceremony. Thank you so much, guys, and huge, huge congratulations. Some really great reactions there from Stefan and Eduard after their win at the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge. This, of course, is also Stefan's eighth win at the event so great job now it is time before we head back and get more interviews from the other team members we will have a look at the highlights from today mission accomplished stefan peter hansel and co-driver edouard bollinger successfully completed thursday's fifth and final stage of the abu dhabi desert challenge from hamim to abu dhabi sealing their victory in the 2022 abu dhabi desert challenge the whole crew of team audi sport welcomed the two frenchmen at the final stage finish celebrating another historic moment for audi in motorsport <laughs> Following its debut with four stage wins at the Dakar Rally in January, the unique Audi RSQ e-tron clinched its first overall victory in just its second competitive outing, beating the competition with their conventional internal combustion engines. Having built a comfortable lead over the first four days of the event, Stefan Peter Hansel and co-driver Edouard Bollinger took the last 209 km test back to Abu Dhabi carefully and finished sixth in the stage classification. This meant that they won the overall classification by a margin of almost half an hour. Team Audi Sport celebrated a historic first success of an electrified drive in a cross-country rally, while Stefan Peter Hansel celebrated his eighth personal victory at the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge. The Frenchman continues to build his legacy and will have from now on a place in the history books of motorsport as the first rally winner with a car of the new T1 Ultimate category reserved for high efficient alternatively powered vehicles. It was P6 for Team Audi Sport in the final stage of the event which was more than enough to seal the historic victory. Well, some epic shots are from today and such a brilliant result for Team Audi Sport. And I'm sure somebody who is equally as happy as the driver and co-driver is the team principal, Sven Quant, who's with Stefan right now. Yes, Molly, I'm back with Sven Quant beside our car in the middle of our four rings. and. Uh, It must be a very proud moment for you today uh, with the first victory with the new Audi e-tron. Absolutely. It's, uh, we are all very proud. I think the whole team is very proud. Every member of the team who worked hard in the last 18 months really to get that car for the first victory. And I'm very happy about the whole team uh, because it's not possible to do it with one. It, you need the driver and the co-driver and obviously you need all the employees behind and they did an incredible job. I think Abu Dhabi is a very good playground for you. I've heard about some other victories in the past with new cars and new models. Uh, 
honestly, yes, that's a very, very interesting thing. I had three times the first victory with a car here, uh, with three different cars basically, and we always made it here, which was a breakthrough for good results later on. Uh, so let's hope that we can continue a story like with the, with the Audi as well. I was very impressed about the landscape here around uh, the place where we are with the beer. Back. Is this your favorite rally? It's my personal favorite rally. I was winning uh, the championship many, many years ago here in the last round. And I've been racing here myself nearly 15 years. So the landscape is absolutely beautiful. It's one of the nicest dunes I know. Um, but it's one of the most challenging dunes, I have to say, as well. It's not an easy one. We see it on the field. A lot of people basically not only got bogged down, as well had technical issues. Uh, it's a big challenge here, and I can tell you, if you are able to succeed here, you have a very good car. I had a lot of questions from other journalists who asked me where will be the next race for this wonderful car. We are trying to have the, another race in the next, let's say, three months, hopefully in Europe. Uh, we are still considering if it makes sense for us on the development. It depends a little bit how much time we've got, but it would be nice to have one more race before we get, honestly, to a new car, uh, because obviously this car will, cannot anymore race on the next Dakar. Uh, there has to have some changes, and one time more to race it would be nice. Okay, but you, I've heard you can't celebrate the win tonight because you're flying back. Sorry, I have to fly back tonight, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Wish you a good flight, come back Thanks home a lot. and Thank see you. you in Neuburg at the next Thank time. Thank you. Thanks. Well, thank you so much to Stefan and Sven, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of time to celebrate this victory later on. So safe flight back home to you, Sven. Now, we have been encouraging you, of course, on every single show to send in your questions, anything about the team, the rally, or anything to do with anything, really. So to answer those questions this time is uh, Sporting Director Lisa Crampton, who's with Stefan right now. Yeah, I hope you know Lisa Crampton from all the nice videos when she introduced our BWAC and all the other things. And tonight we want to ask some questions from our users to Lisa because I'm sure they will know everything about that. The first question was, the car has a German number plate, is it allowed to drive on normal roads? It is in rally and in most international competitions in international countries. As long as you have a car registered in your country where the car comes from and it has road registration, then and it has an allowance here to be on the roads and then obviously during the rally itself they organize a special rally insurance for anything for the rally cars which are on the on the public roads as well next question was how long does it need to pack all the things together after a rally uh, one option with your power when you are standing behind the guys and without you <laughs> Um, they're pretty self-sufficient actually um, and we actually start before the rally even ends so the packing up already started yesterday afternoon in the Liwa bivouac um, they start to bring down all the tents clean all the tents make sure all the parts are clean all the air freight sorted um, switching between which ones go on the boat which ones go in the plane um, and basically as of this morning already a lot of the stuff was already packed up so after the rally now there's very little to do except for hopefully for the team to celebrate tonight can you explain how and where are these beautiful cars are traveling? This beautiful car behind me here is actually going to get taken away in a nice little aeroplane and flown back to, to Germany and we'll head back to Ingolstadt. Um, and most of the other, so the race truck, the service truck and all the parts and everything, they will go on a boat and they will be taken back from the port in Jebel Ali, about a one hour drive from here and we'll take sea freight back to Europe where we pick it up. And when will you get all the things to back in Trebar? It's due back around April 7 and then we start again with all of the inventory and we look at all the parts and we then start already actually from tomorrow planning the next race um, but obviously hands on from the 7th when everything lands back in Europe. Okay, before you start planning the next race, how will you celebrate the night? Um, well, hopefully with all the team because it was a real amazing team effort. Uh, every single person put in every single corner of the car. And so I think here we've got an amazing podium celebration that the organizers and Abu Dhabi have put together for us. So we hope to all celebrate here when we see the car go over the podium. And then after that, we have a team dinner organized. Okay. So Thanks, Lisa, for joining us no tonight. Worries. Thanks, guys. Have you a pleasant night. And that's from my side here from the Biwak, from the paddock of the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge. It was a pleasure for us to work for you all the week and hope to see you back at the next rally. Thank you very much for watching us. Back to you. 
Well, thanks so much there to Stefan and Lisa for answering all of your questions. Uh, it, is, it has been an incredible team effort and you all deserve a proper party tonight, so enjoy that. Now it's time to have a little look at what happens exactly after the rally has finished. I'm very happy. We started very well in the Abu Dhabi race. We have the, a stage win at the beginning and we are very happy. We recorded a lot of data. Now is the time to, to compare the data, to, to evaluate and, and to improve. We have a good team spirit. Yeah, we, we are working very well together and I'm very proud. At the end of the day, it was a successful race for us. I'm going very happy home, nothing happened and we know what strategies we can run to hopefully avoid that the car is getting too hot. It can always happen, but then we know how to handle it. After Dakar, a lot of people thought, ah, they are super fast, we will win stages, we will win everything, we will fly over them. And this rally really showed where we are at the moment. We have a hard job during the year to get the car to a winning car. We are still in the process of the, how to, what changes we do to the outside body. We have to lose some weight, so maybe some things will be off the car because we have to find kilos everywhere. There will be obviously some more testing uh, because we have to build a new car due to the regulation. Uh, we have to change some things on the chassis, which are only allowed until the end of the year. Um, if we don't do our homework, we will not win the next Dakar, I can tell you. So we have to do our homework properly to get the car in a status where we can hopefully win the Dakar next year. Well, that concludes Inside Dakar for this time from the second round of the FIA World Rally Raid Championship, which couldn't have ended in a better way. It was a victory, the first one for Team Audi Sport in their off-road rallying adventure. There is a small wait, though, until we're back uh, from the middle of June and the fourth round of the championship from Rally Andalusia. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you then.